Okay, boom, viewers, welcome back to the channel. Subscribers, you already know the thing set. We're blessed. Hope you had a wonderful day today. Well, you know my style. One bag of bag and a one I gotta continue getting them daily updates on the people you see and don't see on the screen. That's why it's extremely important to watch it and so you don't miss a thing with that being said. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. People may not gonna lie to you. Me only think me see them thing you are in there, you know what I mean? Because we always have see some street vendor type stuff. Unhygienic, at least when it comes to the hemisphere in America. You see me, I say, one bag of nastiness. You see me, so when we see that video, I really crap lady. I know what she has to do with the food. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, I only thought I brought the customers, you know what I mean? But nevertheless, she did an interview with the green and said, you know, she drink a hot beer and all of these things, and her body warm up, and you know, she take her, you know, something and wipe herself, and you know, the people bad mind, and a videotaper. You see myself, first of all, we can't co-sign nothing she says about bad mind because your bad mind for one serve the people them where you're nasty and you see myself, but I think this is the new crap place that the people them did build up. Um when Obama did it I come so I don't know why they never built no facility for the vendor them to relieve themselves, you know what I mean? Um when I put in the comment section what you think about the situation, you see myself, but like I said me think I just in there alone. We say them things, you can. We say our type of things they might do with them. And you see me, I say. But anyway, let's proceed to the next. Because Byron Mercer said there's two sides to the story, and he's definitely not broke. As you can see, him a post up, him label chain, and you know, some change on him lap and all of these stuff. You see me, I say. And like I said, he said two sides to the story. But somebody always feel like they know it all. I don't know who he's talking about, but it seems like at the vlog of them and the media, you see what I said, because I guess he got caught wind of one of the employees sending, you know, this to the mix up site, you know, addressing how him dishonest and him broken all of these things. You see what I said. Um, the car rental place said, employee said, I see you post about Byron. This youth is very dishonest and disrespectful. I work for the rent car company. He crashed our car, made a promise to pay back, and now he blocked us. My boss has taken him to court, has to take him to court. This is not even a bad mind thing. Byron didn't have a license, so he asked a Jamaican guy to rent the BMW for him. His driver fell asleep behind the wheel and crashed the car. No police report, no information we had learned the car was crashed from social media. He begged us not to pressure the guy who rent the car and promised to pay back the car. He changed he ch the charges uh, millions. He charges millions for shows and can't pay back 2.5 M. For a BMW car that's worth 3.7 M. My boss said just pay the 2.5 and call it a day. He sent a million and then he blocked us. So this is why you see him a post up diamond, you know, label chain and all of these things and you know um, you know, a couple thousand dollars and all of these stuff. It's in my because the people them say I'm broke and stuck and all of these things. Uh, but one thing for sure, I'm definitely a losing ratings because the Jamaican them are beating bats on social media because you know them enough. It's in my say. <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. And them I say the trip song boring up, you know what. Um, after they made this post, I guess doing it on some trill beats. You see me also, and you can't see in the comments people are tag TJ, TJ kill off your career youth, you know what I mean? Um, this not look good and all type of stuff, so put in the comment section what you think about that. You see me also, drifted make on the billboard pan TJ. Um, birthday, so I'm just uh, you know, tell no what I go on for not to go on by and me, so I say I'm not broke. And I two sides to the story. Yeah, let's proceed to the next. Now Star is receiving black lash for selling her cookie wash products, I guess, to school children. I don't, I don't really know what the problem was. I don't know if these girls got suspended because they was in their school uniform dancing in the street. I don't know, you know what I mean? Um, but she's here to address um, the situation. So let's take a look and listen while well, I go on. You see me and we'll proceed. And loss isn't just death for me this year. It's been betrayal it's been i've been life has been holding me by my wig and boom 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 beating on me
bell peppers. Should I get an omelet? This one has bell peppers, onions, spinach, mushroom, goat cheese, but I don't want a ham or bacon. Yeah, God is God is God is in control. This it's been a sad 10 years this way. Just gotta stay strong. I'm not into staying strong. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I'm tired of staying strong. I'm not built for that. Like, no. Somebody need to come give me a shoulder to lean on. Um, okay. Even with the students, the thing that happened with the schoolgirls. Do you know how frustrating that is for a person to wake up and decide they're going to give back? And then it turns into something negative? How did something positive like giving girls pads and people said, oh, you should have reached out to the school. You should have da 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 da. But you're forgetting that. I'm trying to navigate in a country that I have not lived in as an adult. Everybody knows Jamaica is difficult. Everyone knows this. This is a fact. When I initially started the event, the team of people that was helping me put on the event said they were going to reach out to people. It was going to be more private. Like certain people would be invited, like certain students at certain schools, certain netball teams, certain football teams would be invited. The people putting on my event couldn't get in touch with nobody. I reached out to netball coaches myself and I couldn't get in touch with nobody. So the show must go on, don't? Yeah. I literally said, I'm going to put the pop-up shop and giveaway in the same place. So, even if you come to bring your kids to pick up to get a giveaway, you can still purchase at the same place. It's no confusion. I spent over 20000 US dollars. Over 20 bands. Just to get all of this done. You understand? Like... I think I think I ran it up to almost like 40k US dollars. Customs is not cheap. Jamaica customs don't play and you all know that. So to bring in my products, to bring in a bunch of pads, and then let me talk about the pads because I could have went to the store and got pads. No. Star went and did the above and beyond and reordered pads from a vendor so they could have quality pads. I didn't go buy the cheapest pad. I literally found a pad vendor. And when you get pads, you have to put in an order of, I think like 20,000 pads. So all of this for the school system to do, it's like, I just feel like it didn't deserve it didn't deserve a suspension. That wasn't the punishment it deserved. That was unfair. Super unfair. And after, and, and you know what? Jamaica is like, as much as I want to cuss Jamaica, it's better than America because I couldn't get a picnic them. Uh, America not wanting. I wouldn't do it to know. I wouldn't do it. Remember, remember the lady, Sue McDonald's, because the coffee was too hot <laughs> in America. So, me forget picnic pad in America? Next thing they put a roach in the pad and say, I mean, I get them picnic. No, sir. Mm -mm. It is because it, they were in their uniform. However, I'm just saying that uniform rule there should be some leniency. It should be more about your behavior in your uniform, less about maybe where you are. I think that's more important. They're representing your school and they're doing it in an excellent way. They were able to answer hygiene questions. They were able to understand, I mean, answer questions pertaining to Jamaica, questions pertaining to school. Because we did money giveaways too. If you answer certain questions, TC would ask a question. And if they answer, they get some money. We did dancing giveaway. We did dancing challenge giveaway. We did questions giveaways. I just don't see how 
But you know what? I just pray that God uses it as an opportunity to open a door for a bigger conversation with these schools. I would love that. That would make me happy. Good morning, guys. Yes, and I'm glad they still got the experience. And even more so, some schools are hitting me up saying they want me to come to their school. So that's making me happy, too. Like, all of this had to happen for me to get the notoriety and to open up dialogue and for more people to even know about the product, about the brands, and just uh, about hygiene. Now they're, now more people are, you know, trying to link up. But um, something I feel like I tried to keep under wraps, like I've been living in Jamaica all year trying to launch this thing. That's how. Hi, Cece. Hi, Ciara. My Cece boo. Yeah, I've been in Jamaica all year trying to launch this thing. And finally, it's done. So now I need to find a place in Miami again. <laughs> Because I'm I'm ready to shake Miami up again. I've I've done I've done what I could in Jamaica. My heart is full. Um, hi, Delhi. Like I said, I've loved living in Jamaica this past year. Um, it it's been amazing. I've got to appreciate a lot more simple things, like. In Jamaica, the simplest things make me happy. When I'm in America, I gotta go shopping. <laughs> I gotta go spend some money. I gotta go sit by, oh, order my food. That's so right. <laughs> I gotta go, like here, I'm in America going to a spa, doing whatever. When I'm in Jamaica, I will literally go to the jelly man. He chop a coconut in front of me. I pour some of my rum in the coconuts. And I drink it, and I feel good. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? And it's not even just the water, because I thought it would be the water. I don't even go to river much when I'm in Jamaica. But I, the air feels lighter. And no matter what anybody says, anything about Jamaica you want to say. The tenacity of the people... You get me? So even though everyone is in poverty, everybody's going through so much, the vibes, the energy doesn't give poverty, the energy doesn't give sadness, the energy doesn't give woe is me. It's always, you can't go on any ends and it's some laughter going on. It's some joke going on. It's somebody outside dancing. It's, it's, some, it's something going on. Unfortunately, because I am who I am now, I can't just go par on the ends again. You know, so sometimes that sucks because, yeah, I would love to just pull up in the ghetto and chill. <laughs> ghetto nice, you know? <laughs> like, especially when you just want a low-maintenance day. But there's a time to be in the ghetto and there's a time to elevate. So, I definitely... You said LOL Most artists do So what are you saying Most artists are hanging out On the ends that they come from That they born Grow up in They know everybody there They're, they're either paying a don there Or they're friends with the don Or they are the don of their community So them have a reason to be there Me as a pretty regular girl let's say i had no money just pretty and you know have my little one job and nothing to not go on for me i could go on anybody ends and chill with whoever bring me around here now it's not the same if i go hang out with a family member and they bring me around the ends and yeah they're gonna remember me like oh when you was a kid 
but I'm the one that's gonna have to buy liquor. I'm the one that's gonna have to sponsor this whole movement. I, I, I just, it's, it's just not the same. People, people, since, since I have started getting money, people don't treat me the same. So if you don't understand that, I don't know what you will understand. I wouldn't say they will rob you. In Jamaica, I don't think robbery, I mean, I see people, I don't see people robbing people like how they rob people in America, in Jamaica. To be honest, God, 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 honest truth. You know what I'm saying? Because think about it like this. You, let's say you decide you're going to snatch this chain. This chain is like what, five grand, six grand. What are you going to do with the chain after you snatch it? As I get to you, what are you going to do? Bring it to a pawn shop? Who you gonna sell it to? Yeah, you know, that's a very smart girl, you see what I say, even though some people might find her annoying, but she's definitely smart. But I forgive that to her, you see me, girl. I know for market her things. Um, before we end our live, a review, yeah, um, wow, I really don't know what to say, but um, a prime suspect in the disappearance of Philip Horace Challen, mother, her mother is at the halfway tree police station. She was taken in late this evening. Detectives say the investigations are far advanced and that the woman is expected to be charged and faced to court soon. You see me, I see me people. You know how long these people have been missing. Um, so it's safe to say, you know, why? I don't want to say it, you know what I mean? It's such a sad situation, people. You see me, I say. But nevertheless, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I drop the latest and a dance on news, musical reviews, and gossips. Bless.